I already did a video. You already know by now. Hope you haven't been living under a rock. You know that Joe Biden has stepped down after all the promises by the media and his colleagues as well. He's as sharp as a tech. So much vigor, just ready to rock and roll. However, somehow he is not going to be running for office and he's not. He, he says that I guess he needs to focus on what he's doing right now. Yet he's still fit to still operate as the president of the United States. Uh, as of me recording this, I'm doing the show. We have no sign of life from Joe Biden. He said he was going to in that letter, which he didn't say the whoever uh, wrote the letter said that he would be speaking about it later this week. So we will see what happens. So that means that you got. Um, a lot of people that have thrown their names uh, in the hat as endorsements, not to running. Uh, let me go here right now. I'm covering this from Breitbart. Um, you have he's got endorsements from Bill and Hillary Clinton, which I was actually surprised because I thought this was Hillary's chance. Hillary, you let me down. Come on. It's your chance to run it back for the third time. Hillary, you coward. You coward. But she endorsed. She won't be running. She has endorsed Harris in addition to Bill Clinton. Uh, there have been some others that have uh, as well. But the thing that makes this interesting is this bit right here. President Obama has yet to endorse her. Now, that doesn't mean that he won't. That doesn't mean he didn't think that he already did it with some of the, what he wrote about it, but he hasn't explicitly endorsed uh, Kamala Harris Khan. Four leaders, Pelosi as well, Jeffries and Schumer have not endorsed Harris. Now this story also covers here that there are a bunch of donors has to be anticipated. And this is one thing that I told people to watch out for. Say what you will about Kamala Harris Khan. Uh, she's not the brightest. However, that does not matter. I did think that she, if, if she did become a nominee, just because of reasons, she was going to kind of light a jolt in, in some people. Um, the Hollywood elites, as to be expected, are excited and motivated, and they will be cashing out, writing hella checks to Kamala Harris Khan. I think a lot of them, there are a lot of people out there that feel far more better about Kamala than they do Joe Biden. So expect some enthusiasm from some people. Now, again, we can sit up and talk policy. Uh, we can talk what happened the last time she ran and how Tulsi destroyed her. None of that really matters. Uh, this seems to be who they're going to be running with. But what I do find interesting, I know we got Joe Manchin, I believe, who said he's uh, uh, either he is thinking about it or he is already committed to trying to, I don't know, are we going to get a little contested convention here? I don't know. But Barack Obama, I do believe that he is obviously one of the elites. And with him not endorsing someone yet, I believe that is significant. Endorsing at least uh, Kamala. I don't know what's going to happen. But wouldn't it be quite the show if Michelle, <laughs> some of y'all call her by a different name, but uh, Michelle Obama jumped in that thing. I just want to show. Perhaps we won't get one, though, because uh, it does seem to seem to be that uh, <laughs> Kamala's their guy, which is interesting. I, I didn't I mean, I, I'm not going to say I assume that because I really didn't. I didn't assume that she was going to be the one that would uh, a lot of the, the elites. I mean, that's a significant endorsement when you get one from Bill and uh, Hillary. I did not anticipate that that was going to be the case, uh, that they were going to immediately uh, kind of support her. Uh, do they have better options though? What options do they have? Uh, who knows? Or is it that they're chalking it saying this particular election, consider all that has happened. We can't win. So just let Kamala go out there, take an ill and we'll, uh, we'll recuperate uh, in four years. I don't know what the strategy here is, but Kamala seems to be that gal. And we will see what happens. But until Barack explicitly states, I think everybody should hold what they got, that 
you know, in, in assuming that Kamala is going to be just there and it's going to go uncontested until Barack says, okay, I'm behind her. I, I, I think it's still up in the air. She's leading obviously, but I think it's still up in the air. But what's going to be very intriguing is how the Republican legal guys are going to respond to this. Because as you guys know, in certain states, kind of just abating and switching like that ain't really legal. But when have they cared about any of that stuff? Um, this was one of the points that I brought up on Blaze every time that I had, we, we had talked about some of this issue. It's like, well, they, they waited so long. And I don't know if that was the, on purpose, but they waited so long. And in some states, it's just too late. Now, I'm sure they'll pull something out of their hat. But it's going to be interesting to see if there's going to be any ongoing legal battle basically saying, hey, y'all cheating. We'll see what happens. Hillary, I say, this is what I think you do, Hillary. Retract the endorsement. Jump in there. Give us a show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. 